Hello everybody and welcome back. It has been a long time since any content has come out on this channel. I'm Arnitzen. And I'm Grant Thompson, just along for the ride. And, well, things have been crazy for the last few months. Man. Who knew that having a newborn and having your kids start school for the first time and, oh, half a dozen other things that I can't even think of off the top of my head would cramp up your life so much. Who knew? I did. <laughs> I did. You it was totally me. impossible to predict. <laughs> Anyways, we're back. Um, and I say we're back. We've never been really gone. I just have let a bunch of videos... Uh, sit in the queue longer than uh, they should but we've got a lot of content that as i get editing it we'll start uh pushing out to the community another uh season's worth of uh agents of the white council with eleanor um plus uh, uh there are a couple of other uh videos there might be some ancient madams videos in the pipeline that still haven't got pushed out i'm not 100 percent sure off the top of my head there no i think we've got all of the ancient madams sorted um, before we started Eleanor. That's right. That is correct, actually. Alright, so today, though, we're just going to do a fun little game that's not part of any big projects because I have too many of those already. <laughs> and the quest of the week for this week, who knows what if it'll be still this week when we uh, get this pushed out, but I'm hoping for a quick turnaround today. Um, Quest of the Week is Road to Rivendell, and so we're going to be doing it, and because we're going to be doing Road to Rivendell, I have brought my top tier control deck. Uh, that's Denethor and Spirit Baragond and Eleanor. Shuts down treacheries. I've got three copies of the Palantir in this deck and all the threat reduction. So it shuts down treacheries and it scries the encounter deck. Um, in a two-player game, that's perfect knowledge of what's coming, plus often one of the shadow cards. Yep. What about you, Grant? Well, for those of you that have seen me play quite a few games um, with various um, people, this is my own deck. Um which basically just drops out allies on the cheap with Hyagon and basically makes um, Grimby on the old the old powerhouse of just killing everything. <laughs> <laughs> seven defense and he's seven attack. <laughs> Wonderful. I uh, get the feeling that we're going to be using him more for his attack than his defense in this particular game. Just if I've got Baragond across the table. Well, it depends on how many enemies we get out. <laughs> <laughs> That's also fair. Uh, so how do you feel about your opening hand? I actually like it. I start off with some defense and offensive boosts, a little bit of resource acceleration when we get that online, and a couple of allies which aren't necessary. Well, one cheap ally to get in another bear, and a uh, warrior of deal. Me oh. make an appearance. <laughs> <laughs> if you can find a weapon attachment, I could actually probably use the help with ranged. Well, here's hoping. <laughs> here's hoping indeed. All right, so do we want to get Arwen down here? Oh yes, Arwen. I don't even remember. I don't think I have Arwen in these in this deck. It's well, a Gondor themed deck. Well, if we do, we do. It makes <laughs> no difference. It's just a fun game. <laughs> That's fair. That is completely fair. I was uh, tempted to bring my Arwen deck, but then I realized, oh no, it's Roger Rivendell with the <laughs> Arwen on the table. <laughs> Oops. So it's been, what, about four, three weeks since we last played this quest? <laughs> just about. Just about. A little bit longer than that. But yeah. we did kind of race through uh, that last half of the, uh, the Dwardelf cycle. You mean the first half of the Dwardelf cycle? <laughs> One of the halves. <laughs> Yeah. Um, it was somewhere right there. <laughs> all right. I'm trying to figure out how I feel about my opening hand, um, and I'll start by sharing it with you and get your commentary on it. 
Okay, so you got Envoy of Pelagier, a sneak attack. Yes, well, that's not a bad start. I mean, you've got some combat potential with Durfin. You've got some questing power with the end with the um, ship right, and you've got the envoy of Pelagia that can um, jump if you need it. Yeah. So it's not a bad start. I'm a little worried that I don't have any of my card draw in my opening hand. Well, if you want to risk Mulligan in, you can risk Mulligan. I'm keeping mine. But I have sneak attack. If I get Gandalf, there's some card draw. The Palantir should make an appearance shortly, and I think there's one or two other card draw options in the deck. So I think I'll uh, stick with it. It is a good opening hand, after all. Okay, and you should have the Rod of the Steward in there. Because of the fact that it's um, Spinathor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll see. I know it was in one of the versions of this deck. I don't know if it survived multiple rounds of cutting. Fair enough. But we'll see. We will see. Yep, All right. So let's get started. For reasons unknowable to us, our party has uh, braved the snows of the past, but now must travel north along the Misty Mountains for League Upon League as you escort Arwen to her father's house. No Where idea what, <laughs> no idea what Denethor and you know Hiragon and Theodred are doing, getting involved there. But I wonder know what Grimdion's doing so far away from um, Mirkwood. <laughs> there is that. There is that. All right. So one card from the encounter deck per player added to the staging area. While there, not like to say that. And Rack Urix. Again, like to say that because we've got no attachments to discard, so all good. Yep, this is going to be beautiful. <clears throat> and 20 quest points on that first quest stage. This is going to take some time. <laughs> Just a wee bit. In that case, let's go ahead and get it started. Yep. And there's Gandalf. Can't even complain about that. Okay, I'm going to spend one. When it eventually comes off, there we go. And I'm going to start off by playing a Duna Day in Morning onto Grimby on the Old. Okay. So he's now up to four defense. Okay. And that's me done. I am, by the way, more than happy, I think. Well, okay, maybe I should qualify my statement a little bit here. Um, I feel capable of handling another card. I don't know. I'm going to get three allies out this turn. Yeah, I'm just worried about the question. Fair. So, I'm going to play the steward on... It's logical point. I'm gonna play out an envoy of Pelagir, gear, moving a resource. Planning, are you planning to sneak attack Gandalf? Yes. Well, in that case, I will play out the necklace of Gerion because whatever we plan, we may be able to nuke if it needs it. Yes. Whoa. And that was the wrong one. Oops. Control E. And it's Crabane, which, um, hmm. which do not surge, hallelujah. And here we go. Um, I've played out everything I plan on, so. Questing? You're, you're really going to make me use Gandalf for this, aren't you? No. I'm going to sneak attack Gandalf, and I'm going to kill the Crabane. I was going to use him to draw cards, you know. Thank you, Bailey. Well, it increases our questing power by two. Uh, yes, it, it also happens to make it so that if Sleeping Sentry comes up, we can cancel it. Well, there's that as well. 
All right, so I can send two, six, seven. And I'm sending four, five, seven as well. Okay, so we have 14 against two. I'm going to throw in Denethor because why not? 15 against two. Card number one, Turbulent Waters, that's fine. Card number two, followed by Night. Eleanor will cancel that one. Okay. We'll just take Pathless Country. Yeah, so we're up against six, eight, eight breath. We need seven more breaths. Okay. And then, since we quested successfully, I will spend one and drop out a healing skin changer. Okay. Uh, where do you want to travel to? Uh, Pathless Country. Fine by me. Okay, and then engagements, I suppose I'll take down the Black Rooks. Okay. Then during the combat phase, I am getting rid of my Skin Changer and dropping out a big boy. Ha uh ha. -huh. That's fair. Do you want to get the Wild Bear out of the staging area? I was debating on it. But... You, I was thinking you could have had the uh, Skin Changer block him. Skin changer, a block, then use his ability to drop out beyond. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, suppose, just a thought, just a thought. I suppose I could do that, actually. Alright, yeah. he'll come down, he'll do his immediate I'm attack. Bad. I'm only a 28 threat. Well, I mean, yeah, we don't have to. No, I can only optionally engage one. Oh, oh, oh right. <laughs> That's why I was taking the one with threat. No, that is the wise choice there. Okay. Okay, so I'll do what I said I was going to do and drop out. Do you want to defend this black roof? I got him. Bear okay. Gond will defend. No shadow effect. I'm going to reduce my threat by one. And then I have three, six attacks. Which is enough to kill the black rooks. All right. Everybody's exhausted, and by the way, Gandalf would be back at your hand at this point. Oh yes, he would. Um, back into my hand, not yours. Ready up. Oh, well, that's not a bad one to get out. I should have waited around. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to toss out a side quest, because why not? Well, why not? And, you know, I'll uh, toss in some extra resources from Steward. And as much as I might want to get out Derufin for some extra attack, I'm going to play Gandalf for real and draw three cards. There. Feel a little better about that. Okay. I'm going to spend one resource and drop out a Dunedain Mark. And that's me done. Okay. I will quest for two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I'll send four, five. So fourteen against three. Uh, oh, you haven't sent any heroes. I was going to say, do you want those resorts? But <laughs> uh, I can choose that. Uh, I I can choose anybody actually. So I'm going to choose Denethor. <laughs> well, no, I was thinking from favorite resource. Oh, yeah, no, sorry. <laughs> Can't take that one. Yeah, I know that's what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, card number one. Plundered Armory. Okay. And card number two. Eleanor says no, 
Instead, we take followed by night. I think we'll get um, the enemies make an immediate attack. I think so, although I'm still skeptical that that actually works. I know there was a ruling that it did, and I feel like that ruling got reversed. But we'll take it for the moment, and if it turns out to be an asterisk, whatever. This is a fun game. We don't care. Exactly. It's just all for fun. All enemies engage with players, make an immediate attack. That's zero. Yep. So we're up again six. We send four in at eight progress. Uh, were we going against double back or against uh, the main quest? You never said, so whatever. Yeah, we'll call it the main quest. So eight progress. Six on the pathless country because of that remove effect. Plus two more onto the main quest. I think we travel to Plundered Armory, personally. I would, I would agree that plus one attack is nasty. And since we quested successfully, I will spend one, two, three, <clears throat> four, and pull out a giant bear. Oh, by the way, I couldn't reduce my threat last round. You should reduce your threat. Alright, no problem. And I'll take down this wild bear. Okay. And bear gun will block it. Okay, thank you. Um, four attack against four defense. Uh, no, no, only three attack. That's just underground, not a mountain. Yep, not just what we're double checking. And then it's regular attack. Yep, which um, from beyond will block. Again, goes up to three. And I'll spend a resource to have him attack back and do three damage. Okay. And then the two bears will go at it. <laughs> That's more than enough. Yep. Got some uh, sweet bear on bear action there. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> of course he did. Of course he did. I mean, there almost <laughs> wasn't another option, right? Exactly. <laughs> <coughs> All right. I'm gonna drop out two for an armadestra. Ooh, very nice. Actually, I think <coughs> I might actually put that one onto Baragon. That's fine. I've got a couple copies in my deck for uh, to do that as well. So. I'll return the favor when the time comes. Yeah, I'm just a and if there's anything else I want to do. Nope, that's it. Okay, I'm gonna go drop out another envoy, returning the resource to Baragond, and out comes a Knight of the White Tower. Oh, very nice. All right then. Should I reduce my threat again by the looks of that? Ah, uh, yes, that is the case. Yeah. And I have seven. And I'll send two. Got it. Oh, you got it. I'll send two, three, four, eight. So 15 against 3. Do you want to just knock out double back right now? Can do. Okay. And I give Grid his resource and I give Grimbion Arwen's resource just for people, just to clarify to people that's what the resources I've been on with. <laughs> Noted. Noted. Card number 1. Undisturbed Bones. Well, I think I'm going to lose Envoy of Pelargir. And I'm going to deal three damage. Actually, is Arwen... She stays as an ally, but does because she doesn't have the ally trait, does I, do I still count her as an ally? Ooh. That is a good question. I would say probably, because I think this Undisturbed Bones is meant to be able to hurt her. Right, well, I put three damage on Bjorn. If in doubt, always make the quest harder for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Card number two. 
Black Urex. And I'll have to discard an attachment, which will be my Unity and Mark. Alright. From a questing character, that's going to have to be my Necklace of Durian. Oh, that's annoying. Uh, just a bit. I've got another copy sitting in my deck. Alright, so we drop. We lose two willpower. Um, 13 against 5, we make 8 progress. Which is still more than enough to clear the quest. And if you have any weapon or armor attachments in your hand, now would be I an excellent I just, time. Have the, I just have the do it in mark. <laughs> but we'll see if we'll clear double back. I'm down with a 23 threat. Okay. Uh, she's requested successfully. I will spend two resources and pull out a warrior of deal. All right. Um, I, will, I vote we go to the Turbulent Waters just to get the threat out of the staging area. Um, even though it means we can't um, engage the Black Urex. That's fine. All right. I knew I should have went with me dwarves. <laughs> Start off with 34 threats. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. You were saying about range? Well, now we've got it. Warrior of Deal with the Warrior Sword. Oh, excellent. All right. Well, I'm going to drop out a guard of the Citadel. I'm going to move Denethor's resource over here. And I'm going to get out Prince Imrahel. You know, any time now, uh, visionary leadership could show up. Any time. Literally any time. And I'd be okay with it. Just saying. Okay, so questing? Yep, I got two, three, four, five, seven, nine, eleven. And I've got four. Alright, so fifteen again against two. Card number one. Uh, that's me. I will discard three hero resources from each hero I control. And card number two is another Turbulent Waters. Uh, that's ten progress. And there we go. Now, do we travel to the Turbulent Waters? I think we do. And just leave those Black Urex there. Can do. It means that if we get Orc ambushed, we're not going to get ambushed by a lot of Orcs. Ooh, there we go. A very solid reasoning for keeping it there, right there. Very solid indeed. Okay, and now Baragon's going up to five defense. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, just had to double check you had the warrior tree in there. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and Baragon's also going to get Blood of Numenor. And... Going to move a resource over, and Blood of Numenor is not going to get used this round, because out comes Derufin. Um... At some point, we'll actually get to see this deck doing do what it's meant to do and start uh, walking down to control the encounter deck, but all my card draw is locked in the deck. My guess is we'll finish this quest before we get it set up, or we'll be on the last quest stage. <laughs> probably. Probably. Three more cards. If I could have uh, drawn with Gandalf. Alright. I'm um, questing. I got one, two, three. I think I'm going to send Darofin. Four, six, eight, ten. Six from me, and I'll give a resource to Grimby on the old and Deirdred. Okay. Deirdred resource. I wouldn't say no to one on Baragond. Okay, I'll take the one on Baragond, and I'll just take that one All right, so 16 against two. Actually, I'm going to hold back the knight and Denethor 
we don't need that much. Card number one, Knees of the Mountain. Card number two, <clears throat> Goblin Taskmaster. The first enemy with ambush we've actually revealed, although I suppose the wild bear did count, but it was well above our engagement costs. Yep, and so was this. Yes, yes it does. It is indeed. <laughs> uh, so we've added four threat. And that's seven progress. And we advance the quest. And we'll make Goblin Gate the active location. Alright. Heavy rain drives you to seek shelter among the caves of the mountains. They are dry, and the fire you start seeps into your bones and restores your spirit. Your eyes are heavy when the soft clatter of falling pebbles reach your ears. Perhaps you are not alone. <laughs> Goblin Gate is now the active location. All right. Um, <clears throat> we could engage these enemies. Over, you want to flip over the quest card, there, man? No. Why would I want to <laughs> do something like that? All right. And I think we should definitely engage one. I don't like the idea of engaging this Goblin Taskmaster for the fact that it deals two damage. Sure. But I think we're going to have to because he's going to come down to one of us in a couple of turns anyway. Alright. So I'll take him down and I'll just put the damage on to um, Bjorn. Okay. And, and then... I'll block the Baragon. Unless you want to block and kill him with a... Grimbjorn. I've got bears. I don't need to. <laughs> okay. Oh. Maybe I should have done. Maybe. Maybe. Well, you can reduce problem. your threat by one. True. Well, that is exactly what I needed. <laughs> exactly, I tell you. I'm going to move a resource over with the Errand Rider, and I'm just going to toss another resource over there with Denethor's ability. Your turn. I'm doing nothing. I wonder why. All I've got in my hand is a fiend. <laughs> and you've got all one, remember? Oh, yes. So I'm going to quest for 12, and I'll drop a resource on your side wherever you want it. Uh, okay, thank you. Go. Okay, so we got 16 against 6. And I'm sending 4. Yeah. Do you want a resource on Denethor? Uh, it doesn't matter, because I'm just about to lose all of them but one on Bear Ground. Uh, yeah. Um, that's fine, though. And card number two is another Taskmaster. Um, which also... Ah, well, it already had Ambush. So, uh, we make eight progress, which is... Enough to clear the Goblin Gate, go to Knees of the Mountain. Um. You want to take one each? Yeah, I suppose we gotta. Okay, well, Bjorn is going to die from mine. Really? You're going to kill him off? Yeah, I've got um, another. Um, Uh, skin chain just so I can always bring them back from the discard. Okay, I'm just gonna kill off my errand rider, I think. Okay. Okay, I'm it's your defense first. Okay, I'll block with Bearzond. Because of course it does. 
up here, and I will defend and attack back, so... Uh, it is not an ally, so you do not discard it from play. And I will swing back and crush it with all the power he has. <laughs> Which is more than enough. Okay. And I'm actually going to pay full cost for the honor guard because I think he's more important than waiting until quest phase just in case we're doing quests successfully. That is fair. Because I don't know what you're looking like for uh, visionary leadership. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to drop out uh, Blood of Numenor and pass a resource over with Denethor. And then I'll quest for one, two, three, four, six, eight, ten. And I'll send Theodred and Kiagon for three. So at fifteen up against four in stage. Um, are you wanting Norwin's resource? Nope. Well, you can have it. Oh, okay. Fair <laughs> enough. Card number one. Enemies attack. <laughs> okay, and card number two. Oh, ambush, that's what I like to see. Alright, down comes like that. Deal two damage to a character. Okay. One uh, damage to exhaust the honor guard. Okay. Oh, actually, I'll and it one. surges. Into this goblin spearman. Which, uh... It is now the... Oh, wait. So there's a... We've quested for 15 against 2. Um, which means we make 10 progress on the quest. And we advance. Would you do the honors? Orcs and other creatures have hounded you since fighting your way free of the Orc outpost. Soon you will reach the safety of Rivendell's borders. But supplies have dwindled and you are dead weary from sleepless nights of keeping watch as dark forms shadows shadow your camp. Alright. Two more cards. Oh gee, this is going to be a fun defense around. <laughs> Where Claire? And a wild bear. Luckily enough, both of them are above our engagement costs, so... Yep. Travel to the war player? Yep. And the only one coming down is the goblin spearman. Yep, although I could just uh, engage one of them. I don't... I think with the three defenses that we've got with Baragond and... Beowulf, okay, that's fair. Do you want the Goblin Spearman, or do you want me to take it? <clears throat> Entirely up to you. Go ahead and take it. Okay. Uh, Baragond will defend the Spearman. Oh. Oh. Well. That's game over. <laughs> that that is game over. <laughs> um, well, so uh <laughs> just so everybody knows, sitting in this deck <laughs> are actually zero copies of Hasty Stroke. Multiple copies of Silver Lamp. Which wouldn't have done us any good anyways, because all the enemies are on your side of the table. Yep. Uh, the idea for Shadow Control for this deck is to get Silver Lamp onto Baragond and use Armor Destrier to make sure Shadow Effects like that don't happen. <laughs> that, that That's the idea. Doesn't always happen, as we can tell. 
all your copies of um, Palantia are in the bottom ten cards of your deck. Yeah. Well, that was wonderful. That was fun. <laughs> Well, thank you for watching, everybody. You got to see an embarrassing defeat. <laughs> if I had just defended the Goblin Taskmaster first, see, that would have been fine. Discarded then, that shadow card. Not that we'd have known, right? Just flip over the Black Uruks, which I would have defended with Rumbi You one damage. Ally. Eh. Would have done quite a bit of damage, but we could have survived. <laughs> yeah. And the next round we quest against two threat. There we go. Another oak ambush which would have dropped um The black works come down to me and it would have surged and there we go. Yeah, and we would have won. Yeah. Probably. And maybe not quite. We'd have had another round, but we'd have been close. Well, them's the breaks sometimes. Them is the breaks. <laughs> well, keep an eye out for uh, new content on this channel. It's not as dead as it looks. No, we had a lot of, like um, Honorton was saying, we did have a lot of backup. We've got stuff in the pipework, but it's just literally just getting them out. So we're doing these, so it's just quick, easy to drop them out, and we should be able to keep content coming like that. All right. Well, until next time, everybody, this has been Road to Rivendell, why you should never feel overly confident about your lack of hasty strokes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Happy questing. <laughs>